The linotype itself revolutionized printing. It's called a linotype because it makes one line of type. Instead of the old cumbersome method of setting type by hand, you're instead able to sit at a keyboard, type as fast as you can, and compose type that can be printed from. It's one of the most complicated machines I've ever seen, and it's one of the most fun things I've ever been around. The linotype machine changed the world. The way that this machine transformed information is probably its most significant achievement. This whole thing in this newspaper age, it was a calling. It was, it was something bigger. It's like a love affair. <laughs> I spent 35 years working for the New York Times, and uh, that was my life. <laughs> all the knowledge I've acquired over these 26 years is all locked up in a little box now called a computer. That day has long passed when the linotype was scrapped. They were all scrapped. If the machines are gone to the junk man, all my endeavors have gone down the tube after I pass away. My wife is probably going to throw the machines in the hole right after me. The only way you're going to keep me down. <laughs> fascinating machine, A, and B, it's a complete career dead end. And I tell people that once you get ink and type metal in your blood, it never comes out. How does the linotype fit in with new technology? It doesn't. <laughs>